The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. Two content creators, maybe three, where people just have the opportunity to come up and speak about the said person. Obviously, I know I've already got, uh, we have Mandy in the building. But he's going to give a little rundown from what she kind of seen from this woman and then the boxes will be open. Have you missed it? No, we've only just started still. But big up everybody for getting me to the 35k likes. We are now on the for you page. <sighs> T, are you gonna, do, do you wanna, are you still getting videos? Because if you are getting videos, I can just run one more tune while we wait. Kitty, are you in here? Can you, uh, uh, NJ, check your thing because she said she sent you some as well. You know, it would be good. Yeah, really. And guys, if you've got anything, just please send it to my Instagram. It's Torian XOX. Or just share it on my Torian X15 account. I know one thing about her. I know, well, I know two things actually. I know that she essayed her child on live. Um, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you read it? Uh you said on it, Instagram, didn't you, Keeks? Uh, T, are you sure you're ready yeah. to talk now, or do you want to get some more stuff? All right, yeah, we can get some more stuff, and I need to get some platform One sec, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, can we at least get to like 50k? Might as well just get to 50k and it while we're waiting for this tune to finish. Then so when we can start, I can use this to go on my Instagram. She wants to know where I'm from. But I'm gonna run a poll as well, yeah. If it's Frank to the heart, mate. If it's the, your first time here for the surviving debate, yeah, I want to see a crying face. If you've been to one of the debates before and watched it, I want to see a smiling face, please. Right, I'm here, guys. I'm all yours. Oh, Thank you for the heart, mate, queens. Yes, yeah, yeah, NJ, I think positive. we should do a surviving Millie tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Mm. People, what's your Insta? My Insta, guys, is Torian XOS. Guys, please make sure you lot are sharing out the live, guys. Please tap up the screen. Thank you. We need to get 50k likes, man. We can do that before we start. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna let me plug in the talent show tomorrow as well, guys. I'm doing a cash prize talent show tomorrow, guys. So if you know anybody, big up NJ for the. No, nah, made, made. It was made. I done it for you. Oh, uh, big up made. Thank you. Oh, I can't even thingy. But guys, there's a talent show tomorrow, eight thirty on my live. Cash prize for the winner. I also need. I don't know if I should do a judge thing. Should we do judges? Definitely. I need to be a judge previous All right, cool. So I'm going to need how many judges? Three. Should we do three judges? Yeah. All right. I'm going to need three judges. So guys, if you know anyone that's actually serious, that's a good critique positively, then yeah, I'm going to need two judges as well. I've already got a few people coming through, man. So, all right, Laricha, you can be a judge. Guys, mm -hmm. talent, Trini, you can be a judge as well. And Grey. No, but Grey, I want you to perform. I want you to be in the talent show. Why is Torian stealing my content? Oh my God, Alicia, sorry. It was NJ's content that she I stole it from, sorry. Well, <laughs> Anna, I need to, I need to resize this stuff. I get the gist of it. The talent show. <laughs> well, Alicia, do you want to be my judge then? Alicia's doing the talent show as well, guys. 
Uh-oh, just come I'm actually off. reporting you because the other day when I was live, I was someone came in and started singing randomly, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna do a, talent, a singing thing!" And now look, look at you. <laughs> no, but all right. In my defence, yeah, NJ done a talent show yesterday, and we were so overwhelmed by the talent that came in because we had people from America and that, and I was like, you know what? I want to do something. I want to do a cash prize talent show. Are you proud yeah, of that's me? That's what I was gonna do. Uh, oh my god, should we do it together? When are you doing it? Do we do it tomorrow? What time? Do we do 8.30? Oh my god, we can do it together, Alicia! Yeah, but you can do it on yours because I'll have to mute because I've got a kid that doesn't sleep. She's literally gone to sleep like two minutes Don't worry, away. she can judge with us. No, you don't. I can't have her on live, Tori, and she'll get me cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what this child's like. All right, we'll do because I want it to be on. All right, we can do a part one tomorrow, and well, then no, do it on yours, and I'll just come in as a judge. Okay, cool. No, but I don't want you to think I stole your idea. So part no, two. No, I'm only really joking. It's not that deep, guys. Part two of the talent show is going to be on Alicia's live on Friday. Yeah, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, should we do that part one and part two? Yeah, I'll make a poster. You've got a poster, right, haven't cool. you? Who made your poster? Me, Judge. I could. NJ can ask her if that's okay with her, and I'll get her to do you one. Yeah. All right, you smell now. Sorry, NJ, we're taking over your live. Claire Duffy's going to sing Longwood. <laughs> uh, Claire Duffy, why would you under Mary Mayfair Red's post talking <gasps> um, crap? Yes, and it was only a day ago. Miss mm-hmm. Claire Duffy. <laughs> you got pets today. Imagine I just see a comment about um because pearl was explaining the whole gypsy queen stuff why she fell out and then this is pearl this is oh um you know pearl don't care about people saying stuff about kids she only backs the big creators hmm yeah miss duffy what channel anyways yeah, back, back, to, back, to, back, yeah. back to the task at hand yeah. sorry guys <laughs> so uh surviving tara ladies well, what is your opinion of this woman then from what you've seen um, I think she's an absolute wrong one. I don't think she should be on the app. I don't think she... Ugh. Like... Let's deep... The two, two, let's deep, yeah, some of the things that she's done. First of all, who sticks their tongue trigger warning down their daughter's throat or their son's throat? I don't know if it was a boy or girl, but either way, it was a fucking child. Who does that? It was her daughter, and it's a really disturbing video. I think it's been taken off the app now like i haven't seen it i don't want to see it again either but it's really disturbing so maya she like kissed her daughter on on a tiktok i don't know if it was on a live on or on an actual like tiktok video but she like put her tongue in you know in in the child's mouth sorry um Yeah, man, it was disturbing, man. I'm not going to lie. I saw the video. It was disgusting, bro. And then it was things like her kids were playing, just normal. They were quite young and they were just giggling and playing in the background. She was like staring at her screen. Next thing, she comes off the camera. You hear her smack the kids. The kids start crying. And they're... um... Yeah, no, Observer, I, I wouldn't play that anyway. I wouldn't have even sent it to NJ if I'd come across it. Yeah, um, no. Yeah, so she was, she was like, whacking her kids for just being kids. They weren't even doing anything wrong at all. And she started smacking them up. She was making them face the wall as punishment for, like, disturbing her when she was live. And I believe that there was wow. something to do with, because she was doing, like, spicy content. Mm-hmm. And I think she was filming some of it when her children were in the room. Observer would probably know more than me. Yeah, this, so um, the children have been removed from her care. That she doesn't have the children anymore. Did they get removed because of the kiss, or was there? Uh, because it was, I think it was like neglect, and obviously yeah. that because that's um, I say, isn't it? So child essay. Oh. Oh, okay. It was yeah, on the, a live. The, by the, the, the kids way, are sa- the kids are safe. Like the kids are safe in a way. <laughs> Does she don't have? Does she have custody of them again or no? No, she, I don't even know. I think like she gets visitation. From what I've seen, she gets visitation, but she often like doesn't bother, or she'll like speak to them on the phone. But I don't think 
like she doesn't have any parental rights over them as far as i can see well, all five of them are gone yeah okay. she's got none of them that's wow yeah, that was going to be my question like does, does she do, does she do well on the app and that is she in the ranks and or does she is she one of them kind of people no she she it? does like games so she'll come up with some game and you'll have to send like a galaxy or a money gun to enter into like a a game of some sort i can't say the actual word because we'll get banned but uh when we said anaya it was probably around a year a year and a half ago it was quite a while ago like the kids you know tiktok did their thing and reported her but yeah she does games and things for people to win stuff or she'll do things like she'll make up shitty hampers and then people will have to gift or give money to her PayPal. And, and um, I think what is it yeah. to do with hampers on the armor? Honestly, and even Jem Zeno, the other local biz head, went to meet her on TikTok Live, and they were both on live. That's when I seen her. That's the first time I come across her. I didn't even know who she was, and then I remember Lucy and Biss would be like, "Don't be fair." Can we share the live to Gemma? Because I actually want to know why she went there. Like, yeah, she's blocked me, so no. <laughs> she's blocked me as well. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Mm, well, that's when I seen her, and then we we put I uh, gifted Gem Zina elephant trunk in it, and you done something as well. Yeah, that's I messaged NJ and I was like, "Do not, you'll get cancelled. Do not be gifted in there." <laughs> she yeah, was fuming like, at first, and then she was like, "Oh well, you know what? It's more money for you, though, love." And yeah, well, she um, some TikTok police at the moment, so she. This woman as well, There's she's got a dog and she was like, the dog was really neglected as well. But the RSPCA were out all the time and just think like you. there's other videos where she's trying to take her friend's boyfriends or, what? you know, she's just, yeah. There's loads of shit. I sent NJ loads yesterday. I don't yeah, know. If I, you did, I did see a, a, a picture of her, like, <laughs> people take pictures and put her on Facebook and that, spotted, spotted somewhere or something like that with a guy oh look she, she plays bingo and her mods always conveniently win it's a scam <laughs> oh, wait so she's got mods as well that enable her that yeah she's got people that gift her and sit with her that, oh, oh man to kiss a child like that in, a, in such a way your own child let alone that's basically essaying SA in your child on a public platform. Does anyone in here know anything more about this woman? Because I don't know everything. I just know like the main things about her. Is there anyone here that knows more that can get in the I'll box? be real. Those two things are in us. It's mad, isn't it? Those two things are bloody in us. For real? Like, we don't even need to hear more. The fact that you've grabbed your underage child, because I heard the child was six or seven. You me. grabbed your underage child, decided to stick your manky tongue that you probably don't even wash down your daughter's <laughs> throat on live. Do you know how that, that can affect your daughter? Maybe not now, but when she grows up and she understands what kissing is and all these things and she realises that you done that to her. Oh, and she's pretending that she's uh, G-A-Y now as well. Mm. Right, let's just check to see if these people are like online hello cd london no nope. kyla are you there no nope. no one wants to speak to us guys please before you lot join just look at your phone guys because a lot of you lot keep joining and not talking mm -hmm. I know that's happening everywhere. I don't know what's going on. But it doesn't happen to me though. That's what I don't understand. Oh yeah, she took money off of her kid to get her nails done, and she was like, "Yeah, my kid said that she wants me to spend her pocket money on getting my nails done." And then she sat there. So the first time I ever come across her, she was sat with this big essay on the screen saying that she had no money to pay her rent. She needs help. This is the link. Blah blah blah. Mm. And then she was off getting her nails done and that, living her best life. Wow. And she took them. How old are all her kids? Do you not know? Like the age range? I've got, I don't know the ages. Okay. Hello. What's Hello. Up, what's up? I've put it in the comments a few times now, but one of the worst ones that I've seen is a video of her on live stream, and she was like, um, "If I reach X amount of gift money, I'll give the story time of why my kids got removed." 
which was mm-hmm. pretty bad. Obviously, I thought that was actually quite disgusting. Wow. But yeah, that was my little addition. Wow. We know why your kids got that darling. A story time for a gift. Yeah, it, it was a story time of why the kids got removed because everyone was curious, but she would only give the story time if she got a certain amount of money, which is uh, and I, Anaya in the comments is talking about what the child is facing off camera, not, not Tara, just so everyone knows. I just think... Hello. I just think, oh, sorry. Hi, hello. I'm not sure how much you've got into this. Um, no, we just kind of started. Oh, uh, well, you, there's this woman that I um, go, I go and lie, her name's Ruthie. And she kind of does this every sort of day, um, exposing Tara on the stuff she's done. Um, at the moment, I don't know if you know, but she's doing these mental health boxes and these um, um, homeless um, boxes or something. So basically, she's like, so what she does is so she is raising money through her PayPal, um, which is... And then she's also doing it through gifts and stuff. So she has like gift goals. Apparently she's doing, it's going towards that. So the the, the mental health boxes have things like paracetamol, um, I think nail scissors, stuff like that, um, sleeping bags, flasks. Um, she's been given coats and clothes that she's, that she's used for herself and giving away her old dirty ones. And she goes around at night time. Apparently homeless people don't exist at, at at daytime and she goes around and like she went to one the other day and was like oh you look like you lost nothing uh, you've lost everything you're homeless blah, blah blah and they were like and she's like she, she was like do you want this do you want this box this help box and then he was like no because he was obviously offended and then with the mental health boxes she, she, she you have to ask her and she questions if your mental health is bad enough to deem that you're worthy of her mental health boxes um, but a lot of this homeless stuff has been sat in her uh, house for ages. Like, like she's just waiting apparently to get them all together to send them out. But they're just sat there like this. Like there's like homeless, um, you, know, you know, the gloves, the heated gloves and stuff like that. And they're just sat in her house. Um, but yeah, there's yeah. so much on her. Jake, can you um, share the live to that lady you just said, or is she live now? Yeah, I can share it to her, but she might be asleep. Yeah. I'm just wondering. So wait, she... so Tara is doing homeless boxes and yeah. mental health boxes, yeah. Okay, and let me. Okay, so the mental health boxes entails of a nail scissors and what else? Paracetamol. There's loads of stuff in there, but the paracetamol. paracetamol. So for mental health, she's giving them paracetamol. Yeah. Let's deep it. She's giving them paracetamol, <laughs> even though paracetamol you can still, you know, what I'm saying. A pair yeah. of scissors and what else? There's quite a lot of stuff in there, apparently. Because there's, there's loads and loads of stuff, but I can't remember. But that's that's like the bad stuff. The paracetamol, she cuts them into strips. She so can't even see the the best before date or whatever. That's dumb. Like literally, that doesn't yeah. make sense. And basically, she's saying that she was homeless like for a while because she in a tent, and that she got all the help of TikTok and stuff, and she was begging up, but she wasn't even really homeless. Um, it's just more lies. I'm just trying to find Rufy to send it oh to her. Oh my god, but... I vaguely remember that. Yeah, yeah, there's sh- that woman is just. I'm just going to share it to Rufy. There we go. Places she might be asleep. Hearings. Um, and like, so what also, what, what she'll do is do that, like, gift gift goals like for her PayPal. So, like, I think yesterday she was asking for 70 quid for, for green and stuff like that. What, for drugs? Yeah, 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 for green, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 70 quid? Yeah. No, bye. Her chest is high. But then, um, and then she also has this dog that she doesn't really look after. They call the ice on her, but she's got a skin condition that she's not really helping her out with, and she doesn't really walk her because she's, she's on live 24 um, 7. Where in England is she from? Le- Leicester. She's from Bronston. In Leicester, yeah, because she said it helped. Helps her with what exactly? Like uh, she has like, mental health issues. Apparently, she's got anxiety and stuff, but she can go around screaming at people. Yeah, I've seen her recently screaming in a shop. Yeah, and just screaming in the street and stuff, and shouting at a, a group of geezers. And yeah, did you see what she did at Bingo. <laughs> can I ask how old is this lady? Does she's like thirty three? I think. Oh my right god. Oh, wow, so she's still quite young. Yeah, but she looks older. 
She said mm-hmm. her anxiety. Yeah. And then she, I don't know if you know, but she does these games called like, she does like bingo and um, uh, racing ducks. So she'll do like a, go on the internet and just put people's names in. And then they have to do like racing ducks. And then like whoever wins gets the money. So basically she'll, she has a separate number and you have to text her and then you give her some money and she puts you through, she does the bingo and then she does like the ducks and stuff. And normally it's always her mods that win go. or if she gets and a new person like and stuff. And well, normally it's always her mods that win go. or she gets and a new Oh, I hate my voice. <laughs> if she gets, if she, yeah, so normally she, her mods win, but if she gets a new person, mm. she'll like let them win just to make it look a bit more kind of real. So obviously you're not allowed to do that kind of stuff on TikTok Live, but somehow she gets away yeah. with it. I don't know how. How much yeah. views, like when you're when you see her, Jake, kind of you're not saying you watch her, but when you have previously gone in her lives and that, how much view how much people are not, sitting there? Not that many really. She gets like maybe like two hundred ish, kind of three hundred ish. She got a lot when Gemma went too, That's too much. That's yeah, too yeah, yeah. She got a lot when Gemma came in. Um you know, when Gems went to her house. Yeah. Wrong in. Um but she also likes to dance people money and stuff and she does like raffle prizes and stuff so she like raffle stuff away um jake did you see when Gemma went to her house yeah because what happened between them because didn't she accuse Gemma of stealing or something he kicked her something out like that house. something like that yeah so Gemma then kicked her out uh, sorry tara kicked her out but yeah we all knew that 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 wasn't gonna last them two together you know mm-hmm. Gemma just, Gemma just did it for the, the, the clout, I think, or the views, because she she's obviously falling off. I think they both did it for the clout. To be, I think they both done yeah. it for games for some, yeah, sort, yeah. Of, for some but, sort of, you know, because that Tara girl, she was loving the views, mate. Yeah, when Gemma was she, at her house, she was loving the views. She didn't go to sleep. Yeah, they she knew had, like, what they were K. doing, didn't she they? She had like yeah. 1.5k yeah. or something, and normally she gets like 200, 300 views. And then she always, she'd always always put it on sub chat when she gets like, because she, she gets quite a lot of hate, obviously. And people um, actually sub to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one of her mods was like, "Oh, what happened with her daughter? It was like two That's years ago. You need to go over it." Oh look, one of the moderator, Planet Lily, knows her. I only came in the box just so that other people would go in because I know they get shook when no one's in. See you later. See you later. Uh, me and Corian with you. Why would they be scared? I've got a clip from uh, YouTube so if you want me to play. It. Yeah, I've just been sent one of Fact Freaks one, which is really good. Can we rise Planet Lily mod? Sorry, I'm not modding here because she says... I do, I do see oh. um, that fat free one. Do you want me to play that one? Yeah, his are usually quite good. Like, it shows screen recordings and this stuff. This girl and... has been a Robin for years. Like, well, she's from Ketlin, right? And that's where I used to live. She used to live in the next street from me. My friend's actually got a kid with her brother and he's not allowed to see the kid or anything. It all came out years ago that she was actually doing things with her uh, siblings. Um, like, things with them um, that came out years ago whenever we were teenagers. Um, she lived in Ketron all of her life, and I think she's moved to Leicester now. Yeah, she know. had or Coventry, because that's where Gemma's from, Coventry or Leicester, innit? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah it's, it's Leicester, she, yeah. But her name's actually um, Curti. It's... Um, thingy curtie at the end so that's not actually her name no her name is tara but the the, the full name is um it's got curtie at the end so did it's was like, that her marriage name or did she it's change a, her no, name no, it's, she took to both of her parents names in it because their brothers have got it too okay okay so she, she's known in Catherine and stuff like that um my brothers are too. They're not really nice people. Um, they go around collecting the fucking metal. Uh, you know, you've got people that, yeah, Curti, um, Atfield Curti, it's got Curti at the end. It's a double, double barrel. Um, but yeah, like she is a wrong and my friends had loads of fights with her. Um, the way she treats people is disgusting. Um, I probably would have hit her myself if my friend didn't tell me not to. So, yeah. She's a wrong, and then it's in her town as well. It's not just on here. It's all for you, Ketrin. Everybody knows what she's at. But she she doesn't have a kid um, 
from what I know, she does have contact on the telephone with the oldest one. Um, but no, she doesn't have them anymore. Madness. Oh. Was he feeling the information? Uh, I didn't realise that like, she was at all this stuff until the other day somebody like mentioned her name and I was like, no way is that the same one. It was I think it was Alicia. Oh that's I was, why like, you find out is she me. from Ketrin? Yeah, that's why you was asking me and I was I I didn't know. I don't really know that much about it, just pretty much what everyone else knows. So de deformational characters just said about the crunchy. So I say it. Basically someone paid her to put a crunchy up her nun and then like eat it. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Like, like oh, I said, it's like oh, he, yeah. he was doing stuff with her younger brothers and all that when they were younger. Like, this girl has no shame, no shame at all. Yeah, there's so I'm much. He has been a good hiding. I'm not gonna laugh. Like, God. and then like she, she does like um Telegram, I think, videos. So, so you have to get go on Telegram, and she like gives that like, you have to pay her to her videos and stuff. Yeah, see, to be honest with you, like, I, I do talk to someone that um, is connected, connected. Like I said, my friend, she's got a baby to them, but I, I did ask her if she wanted to come on and speak, but she she doesn't. Um. And also, um, <laughs> she's, not, she's not on the register, but she's not allowed to be near children. No, she's not. not um, and I'm, I'm her neighbour's kid and the neighbour... I think there's some sort of mini fire or something like that, or like a power cut or something. And the neighbour went and and the ki the neighbour's kid stayed in the house apparently. And then the other day she had a 15 year old in her life. Apparently the parent gave permission or something. Oh really? <laughs> right, listen guys, listen guys. Trigger warning, and it this is her reason. All I'm gonna say. This is her reason for opening the mouth, pissing the child. Yeah. This is what I always say it how it is. I say my side of the story and I always will continue to be who I am in it. So where would you like me to start, Johnny? Big up Sarah. I don't know anything. All I all I've just been sent a message about well, was you, so, so one of my uh, big up me and with the, the question. So all that so the only thing I genuinely know I've I've I've, I've only heard Thank of you your account me. today is all I've heard is something about you lipsing your child and something about right, your so children going into My care. daughter, I have the video, my daughter and my sons, uh, all five of my children, I've done the same thing with all of them. I don't know if anyone else does it with their kids. Do you know what I mean? Each time. Like, what? Like, what? So, what? Do you mean just like a little peck in it? Like, just no, so my daughters, my daughters and my son, yeah, we used to have like proper kisses, so they'd kiss me on the lips. Like any other parent just with their child. But my daughters and my son used to have a thing about sticking their tongue down your throat. Right, right? right? Nah. Which used to be so. Trigger warning, my bad still. Wait, kiss them and they stick the. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't even mean to go into detail, but Jay, I've never um, heard of that. So, someone's yeah. just messaged me asking if you'll unblock them. They said that you took their comment the wrong way. Can I free them? Yeah, I'm gonna go down actually and give room for other people. I've Brilliant. just put her name. On Brilliant. You. Have you seen the actual video? All right, thanks. News. Yeah, I've seen it. It's That's disgusting. Right. Yeah. Can I've I got, I've put her can, name on them? Thanks. I've put her name on YouTube and there is thousands of videos of this woman, mate. Yeah, she basically said the reason was that her child likes to do it to her, so she well, does it back. All I'm going to say is, always say it how it is. Oh, is this the one you just played, NJ? And I always so, yeah. be who I am. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's mad to you. I don't even really want to say Yeah, it. no, no, it's fine. I was just checking. Um, yeah, there's bear videos. I'll just play one. Let me see. She looked out of her face as well. Have you got the fact? Anyone that's here and that um, wants to join in the games, you need to privately message me and you also need to delete the bank details that you did have for me because they no longer exist. Why is it when I get my nails done? I'm going to go spastic and I can't do anything. 
Give it you. Thank you so much for both of you. Oh. You're speaking to Ashton on one of the many just available today. How about you? What's going on here? Well, I'm going to start Race off ahead. first and foremost to say I am not it says, happy whatsoever. Oh. Tara making wild demands from Iceland and Lila's racist remark. I don't, I'm guessing they're going to be racist to the person that's just answered the phone. But, Excuse yeah. my French, but I am at this point, I'm beyond pissed off now. Okay, so I'm just going to say that first and foremost. And that if I do start shouting or anything, then I do apologise now. But it's got to the point now where enough is enough now. Right, so we'll start from the beginning. I did a delivery on the I want to say the 14th wait there no it wasn't the 14th yeah it was the 14th so I placed a delivery for half past two to half past four um it didn't show up so I left it till 20 to five so I thought it might be a bit late whatever so I've left it to 20 to 5. I've then contacted Jews for them to be then informed that actually my delivery wasn't out for that time. There's some sort of something like, sorry for the inconvenience, we'll put you on the next slot. Okay, fair enough, whatever. So they put me on the next slot. At this point, I then spoke to a manager called Jonathan, who said that he didn't want to put in any claims or compensation or anything yet. He wanted to see if I got my shopping and if it did turn up to see if there was anything missing. And if it didn't turn up, then we could then whichever route we needed to go down. So to wait till seven o'clock and to wait for my food to get here. So I did that. It got to 20 past seven and the delivery driver turned up at 20 past seven. Bear in mind, at this time, I was on the phone to the Iceland store to see where the hell my shopping was. So at this point, at this point, it's, it's, 20, it's 22 minutes past seven. Not only have I already had to cancel a gastro appointment because I suffer with Crohn's disease and I had an important appointment at six o'clock, hence the reason why I got the delivery for the time that I got it for. So not only did my shopping not turn up, I've then had to cancel my, my hospital appointment, which I needed to go to. Then my shopping's turned up 20 minutes late. Then the, the, the delivery driver had an absolute really bad attitude problem with me to the point that he actually made me that mad and angry that I jumped over my shopping and told him that if he carried on shouting at me, that I was going to knock him out. So at this point, I've then spoken to somebody else called... Right there, what's his name? K Kenya, I think, or something his name was. Yeah, yeah, so I spoke to him and he said that we'd get something sorted. Um, obviously, I, I, put, it, I put in put in the request that I wanted at least half of my shopping money back. I wanted the items that wasn't um, that I, were missing, I wanted them to be refunded. They refund and you anyway. And some sort of compensation for the whole of all of this happening. And because of the fact that you've made me miss a very important appointment, which I've then now had to reschedule. And yeah, so then I phoned today because I was told that if no one phoned by Friday, Friday evening to phone on Saturday morning, I've literally phoned you as soon as I woke up at like 10, half 10 to then be told that no, I can't speak to a manager at this time and that someone would call me back by quarter past one. I'm now having to ring you because you haven't done your done what you said you were going to do. So now I would like to know what you're going to do about this whole between yourself and yeah. Oh, sorry, what? So I just wanted to know what was the outcome of the conversation between you and Kanya? Nothing. That's what I'm trying to say. Nothing. He said to ring back on Friday or Saturday morning, which is what I've done, for them to then tell me, uh, Lan Lanza or something, one of the gentlemen is that I spoke to earlier, which is the one that said that uh, someone, like a manager, would ring me back by quarter past one. <laughs> He told me on the phone that the guy that's the manager that was dealing with it isn't in today. Sorry, guys, the vision's really done. You're correct as well. You're Jonathan. Jonathan was the one that was dealing with it. But that's fine. I do see, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, I see what has been off to the years. Um, obviously, the missing items um, that needs to be included. If you wait there, because uh, I wrote them down, mate. Wait there. Uh, I'm just looking for the bit of 
paper that I written down on, mate. I believe it was the fries, the fries, steak, uh, ice cream, and profiteroles, rolls, the galaxy ones. The most expensive um, stuff. Those items, the missing items, will be your needs will be needed. Um, also, the deluxe items, um, which are charged, if that's correct. Um, and then also see that um, twenty pounds as compensation was also offered to you. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm not happy with that. Oh. Like, not only, not only, not only have you changed my delivery day, you've then swapped it. You've made me cancel an appointment. So you're causing me no end of stress. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has contacted me back when no they said they were going to contact me back. Like, if I'm being honestly straight and upfront with you right now, mate, like, this is what I, the only way that I'm going to be happy. I want a full refund from my shopping and I want some sort of voucher towards my next shop. <laughs> Then what I will have to do is I will then have to then, because 20 pounds is far as the amount, um, and it just can go, but we're going to have to then go and take it a bit further for you, which I don't mind doing. No. I'm sorry. But I'm more than happy to escalate it even further for you. So what's going to be done today? I think the racist mark's coming in a minute. Okay, today we can do the missing items and the delivery charge. So my, my next question, my next question, when I spoke, when I spoke to Kenya, if that's, if sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, he stated that this was, this, the reason why I had to call back today was because it was being escalated. And you're basically telling, you're basically, and you're also... Well, I think that it has escalated it. I was in the down here that um, um, there is a, I'm not sure which time to me as a budget, but in the noted state here, that we're about 24 to 48 hours. So it's been 24, 48 hours since I put in this escalating claim. So why are we now having to put another one in? Yeah, so did you speak to Kenya today? Or? No, I spoke to him on Wednesday. I spoke to him on Wednesday. I'm not being funny yet, but I am not happy about waiting any longer. Like, I, not only not only have you failed me, not only have you failed me as a customer, yeah, you've not contacted me back twice. Two times you were supposed to ring me back and they haven't. No one's contacted me. No one updated me about my, my delivery being changed or moved. No one's contacted about contacted me about anything. I've had to do all the chasing. Even though I ran, I've put in the complaint, I'm told someone will ring you back. Nobody has rang me back. Like I've had to sit on the phone for hours each time to, to, to do this and keep chasing you up. And yet I was told that there would be a result today. So, go and speak to someone, whoever is, is higher than you, in wherever you are right now, because this is being dealt with today. Not on Monday, not on Tuesday, not next week. And I want to be completely transparent with you. The people that I need to get in contact with, which is higher than me, today works between a Monday and Friday. So, you're telling me, in case of emergencies, so you're telling me, in case of emergencies, there's no one for you to get hold of? This ain't a fucking emergency, you clown. Well, I'm not happy about that. I'm a, I'm a very, I'm very upset. I'm very agitated. I'm not happy with the outcome that you've given me. Like, it's very convenient how you've told me to ring today. You've told me to ring today, but you knew, like, the person that told me that knew that these offices weren't open. So why did you not, why was I not told to ring back on Friday? Why was I told to ring on Sunday, knowing that these, the, the people that need to sort this out wouldn't be on? So you're now telling me I've got to wait another 48 hours. So you're now telling me I've got to wait another 48 hours for someone to contact me, which we know is not going to happen because you've already proven that that doesn't happen. What? If, I, if, 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 you, if I owed you money, if I owed you money, it'd be a different story. You'd be on my case. So... There is somebody I know that you can go and speak to now in case of an emergency, yeah, because there always has to be somebody that you can contact higher than yourself. So please go and do that. This is being sorted today. Not on Monday. This is being sorted to today. You, but I want to also be transparent at the same time with you. I don't want to mislead you because all the calls, all calls are recorded. Yep, that's perfectly fine, mate. You'll be, you'll be recorded on my side as well. I don't want to mislead you. I don't want to mislead you. I want to be completely transparent with you. I want
want to escalate this further for you and I want to tell you the truth that, I, that the people that I need to escalate. Yep, no, that's perfectly fine and I appreciate that and I appreciate right. the transparency. And they, they won't be able to get back to you today. I know because there's no one that will get back to me today. There is somebody, listen, there is somebody higher than you that you can contact today, mate. There has to be. Guys, there's still 12 more minutes of the video. Shall I forward it or are you lot okay to carry on listening? Fast forward I'm it. I'm curious to know what, uh, what happens because right. didn't they say that she was racist in the video? Yeah, she says yeah. the piece Yeah, it says she's racist. So what, do you, what fast forward? You're okay. Everyone's okay. You lot okay with it, yeah? Everyone's all right. cool, yeah? Right. Yeah? All right, cool. I can, I, I can attempt to send an email through today. The chance of getting a response back today. Okay, just be, be, be transparent. I don't want to sound blunt or anything like that, but I doubt that that would come through today. Um, the fact, listen, mate, I understand what you're saying, yeah, and I understand that you have policies and this, that, and the other, but in case of an emergency, there is somebody that you can contact. This is now an emergency. Not only have you messed around with my shopping, I've also missing items you've made me cancel a, a doctor's appointment that i really need it's not just a doctor's appointment it's a consultant okay like you've also not contacted me back you've not contacted me back when they've they've clearly you've you've read it you've li you're literally reading what i'm telling you they said that somebody would contact me back does, does it say, does it say anywhere on there that somebody's rang me or is it me ringing you Right, have you contacted me once? I don't see anything like that here. Right, so on, on this on this form that you're looking at right now, there is no contact from from yourselves to me. I can't see that. Right, so there you go. There's the proof that I don't trust in this, so I want this dealt with right now on the phone while I'm on the phone with you. Yeah, that, that, that is where we, 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 we um, just a bit in between a rock and a hard place because... No, 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 I understand, I, I understand fully, mate, I understand, I understand fully, I, I no, 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 listen to I me, because... I you to know that I wouldn't have a, like, just because of the further conversation about the 20 pounds, I need to escalate that further for you, right? I need but this should have already, this is what I'm trying to explain to you, mate, if you read them notes, it was already disputed, it was... I'm not going to get a response back today. Can I go through, can I be put through to somebody else, please? Yeah. yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to speak to a high, someone higher than you, mate. I don't want to speak to you. I want to speak to someone higher than you. Um, um, I am the senior manager here today. Myself. There's no one at the moment in this building that is higher than me. So where, where, what, what store? What store am I speaking to right now? What store? What store am I speaking to right now? This is not a store. This is the customer care centre. Right, and, wh and where are you based? Based in South Africa. You're, ba you're based in South Africa. Correct. And what's your name? My name is Ashton. Can you spell that for me, please? A S H. Her comments are laughing, putting monkeys. Again. They're saying, sorry. of course they are. I'm, I'm gonna. Wow. Like, I don't believe that you're in South Africa. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Can you please put me through to somebody that is higher than you? Like, I know there's somebody that you can put me through what? to. Like, it's it's part of business. There's always somebody higher that I can talk to. Which is 100% correct. You are not the one in saying that. There is someone here that is on... That is, I'm, not, I'm not a manager, but she's also one of the managers. But he doesn't want to speak to you. <laughs> That's fine. Like, all I'm going to say is if I can't speak to somebody and get, get this sorted today, I will be taking this to trading standards. I will be taking this to trading standards because everything has been recorded on my part. Like, I mean, every single phone call that I've had, every single phone call that I've had has been recorded. Everything's been written down. Every single person I've spoken to is written down. Everything has been written down and documented and it's been done on, the, on your side as well. If I take this to trading standards, I'm telling you now, Yous are going to be worse off, so let's just deal with it today. Okay. So, do you then want to speak to the other manager? Yeah, I need someone to sort this out today. 
No, I'm not gonna. I'm not wait. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting any longer. Right. So then, authorize it. If you're the person, if you're the person, if you're the person that needs to authorize it, then authorize what I'm asking. So authorize my refund. Order. Authorize my refund. You can spot. Right, you can clearly see. Look, mate. Look, yeah. No, but it's not. It's not as far as you can go. It's not as far as you can go. You can authorize a refund to my shopping. Yes or no? You can authorize. So you can't. You can't refund me. You can't refund me my shopping, even though that you're the senior manager. I can't go higher than that. There's people higher than me that authorizes that. That's who I want to speak to. Can you put me through to him, please? Uh, they're not available. That's what I'm saying. They're not available. There is somebody available, mate. There is somebody available. They tried to do this to me the other day, and it's not going to work. You Can you put me through to someone higher than you, please? Like I said, the calls are recorded. Yep, great, I am good. I am delivering customer care, and I don't want you again. Pardon? I can, I don't want you to say, I'm going to put you through to someone else, but then I'm putting you through to no one, and the court hangs up for you. You feel like, reasonable. I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm the one that you need to be speaking to. Right, so if you're the person, if you're the person that I need to speak to to sort this out, let's sort it out. You're telling me yeah. that all you can give me is £20 pound compensation. Do it. Bear in mind, Doug, you are sitting in front of the screen. You've already stated twice that the callbacks haven't happened, the communication hasn't happened, you've cancelled my delivery. Wait, he pause for a sec. Yeah. Did, did she just say you've all you've offered me is £20 compensation? Yeah. I think that is such a fucking good and offer. And uh, give her a refund for all the missing items and the delivery as well. And that's not good enough. Unbelievable. No. Made me cancel a very important phone, um, an appointment with my. Her life paused. An appointment with my. <sighs> um, an appointment with my. Guys, and, and and again, I'm going to have to wait 20... I'm, I, did not, I did not say that you must just accept what's, um, what has been offered. No way would I tell any customer that. I did not say you must just accept what has been offered. I didn't say that. What has been offered is the highest that we can go, but what we can do is escalate even further, and the departs that need to be escalated to, they were between Monday and Friday. Right, so my, 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 my thing is, right, is I was told on Wednesday, yeah, that to give you 24 to 48 hours and this would be sorted. I've done that. You're now telling me that I've got to wait longer. No, it no, no. I'm not happy. No. I understand that you're not happy. I can completely understand the frustrations as well. So what are you going to do about it? Yeah, that's the right by you. I want to escalate it for you. That's what I want you to do. And that's going to take another 24 to 48 hours. They work between Monday and Friday, the team that I need to escalate it to. So you're telling me I need to wait another 24 to 48 hours? So that's what? What's 48 times 2? 90, 90, 96. Uh, uh, yeah. So you're now telling me, so so from the day that this all happened and the day that you messed up my order and caused me stress and anxiety, you're now telling me that I have to wait 96 hours after I put in a complaint to get any response? Completely understand the inconvenience No, no, no it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not having it, mate. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy with that at all. So when we, so when you get to this position, now what do you do? If someone's telling you on the phone that they're not happy and that they're not waiting and that they want it dealt with today, what, what, what's your next step from there? My next step is to escalate it even further, which is what I want to do. It should have already been escalated, mate. I don't understand how it's not been done already. It was supposed to be done when I made the first phone call on Wednesday. Yeah, it hasn't been done, and I completely acknowledge the fact that it hasn't been done, and I want to do that for you. I don't think you're understanding, mate. I really don't. Oh, 
first. Wait. You just tell you on the phone that they're not happy and that they're not waiting and that they want it dealt with today. What, what What's your next step from there? My next step is to escalate the fear even further, which is what I want to do. It should have already been escalated, mate. I don't understand how it's not been done already. It was supposed to be done when I made the first phone call on Wednesday. So I had to remind you that I do it. I want to do I don't think you're understanding, mate. I really don't. Mm -hmm. Did you not hear that? But you don't understand because you're not doing. Did you oh, not hear what the doctor said? No, I can hear. hear. I can. I heard it that in the background. They said he's a an MP slur. Oh, is that what it's what she said? Hold on. Mm -hmm. I can't oh, hear. Let me rewind it one more time. I'm sorry. Putting a complaint to get any response. Completely understand the inconvenience. No, 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 it's I'm, I'm, I'm not having it, mate. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Not happy at all. I'm not happy with that at all. So when we, so when you get to this position, now what do you do? If someone's telling you on the phone that they're not happy and that they're not waiting and that they want it dealt with today, what, what, what's your next step from there? My next step is to escalate the fear further. Which is what I want to do. It should have already been escalated, mate. I don't understand how it's not been done already. It was supposed to be done when I made the first phone call on Wednesday. Yeah, it hasn't been done, and I completely acknowledge the fact that it has been done, and I want to do that for you. I don't think you're understanding, mate. I really don't. <laughs> And then she slapped her. Yeah, look, I'll show you lot this quick clip because I just don't want to get the knock. But. No, don't show it to you. I still can't worth hear it. it. Worth it. You I'll, I'll, see I'll, it. can go on YouTube. It's on YouTube, Georgia. No, no, no. I'm not going to make you go back again, but. But yeah, and then she slaps her, like, st like stop kind of thing. But yeah, and then. It's her sister, not her daughter. You don't daughter. understand because you're not doing anything about it, mate. You can clearly see that I've had bad communication with these people. Yeah, you've messed up my order. I've had to cancel a, a GP's a, a, a consultant's appointment. You're, you've told me to wait 24 to 48 hours, so I've done that. You've then told me that you're going to call me back at quarter past, by quarter past one, and no one's done that. And now you're telling me I've got to wait another 24 to 48 hours for someone to ring me back. So do something about it, because I'm, I'm at the point now, like, I'm at the point now, I'm ready to take this to trading standards. I, I, I know exactly what I need to do, and what I need to do is I need to escalate it further for you. Well then, why, what, that should have already been done. And I acknowledge that it hasn't been done, but I want to do it for you. Right, so can you do that now then? Can you do that now? And then also add on to the notes that I was told that this was already done, and now we're having to go through it again. Yeah. So what's going to be done? So again, I'll go, back to the, I'll go back to the question of what is being done about this today? Because now I'm getting angry and pissed off. Okay, so what we're going to do today is that I will escalate this even further than what it is. And what's that going to do? Okay, so in the escalation, I'm going to say that you're unhappy. Everything that's specific, noted down, everything that you have explained to me right now, I need to put it in the case notes as well. I need to create a case for you. I need to see the proofs are the solution. I need to also advise on the reason why it's getting through to me is because that you are obviously unhappy with the, um, the compensation that was provided and you want more, which is perfectly fine. And no, I don't want more. I don't want more. I want my full shopping refunded. I want the whole every to the penny um, to the penny i want it all refunded okay. then that's what i will then put to do as on the escalation as well mm -hmm. yeah. so are you going to personally guarantee me that you're going to so are you, you, you in the shopping in the video
I'm just saying I don't mind doing all of that for you. I don't mind putting through a request for you. I can only do what I can do, and then they will then get back to me with a um, with an answer with an update as to what that is. And and how long is that going to take? I'm sure that that gets communicated to you. They work between Monday and Friday, so there won't be any answer today. There won't be any answer tomorrow, which is Sunday. I hope you can get an answer by Monday before close of business. <laughs> I'm, I'm not happy, mate. I'm not. Like, obviously, it needs to go further, so you, you need to do that regardless, but I'm still not happy. I understand. I understand. I believe you when you say you're not happy. I don't doubt that. For one second. So are you personally going to guarantee me that you're going to contact me back on Monday? Okay, so me, I will make sure that I expect it and I will get in, get in contact with you. If not myself, I will ask the agent that you just spoke to, she's reporting to me. Even she can give an update as well on what's happening. Pardon? Repeat that last bit, please. So, we are into, so I have already sent it through, right? Yep. It will go, it will land in our, um, into the distribution mailbox, right? In case they will then deal with it, I will try and prioritize it. And I want to update before the close of business on Monday. I'm saying if it's not myself giving you a call, it will definitely be um, Tablet, which is the person that you spoke to just before me, because she reports to me, she's in my team, right? So the expect a call from one either myself or Tablet. So, what time do I give until thing? Like, if someone hasn't contacted me by yes, on Monday, what time should I ring back if I haven't been contacted? About 6 p.m. UK time. Pardon? Okay, so good. I want to answer me myself personally. I would love to give you an update before close of business. So, what I want to say is before close of business, meeting at 6 p.m. your time, UK time. Before then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll contact you Monday then. If it's not sorted by Monday, I'm taking this to trading standards. I'm not joking. I completely understand that. Thank you for your help. Thank you, man. I just say quickly, what's ironic is when people find out she's a scammer and asks their money back, she just blocks them. What a woman. What? Apparently, when she does these raffles and stuff, she has, like, shoplifter friends, and she then, like, gets them from them and then, like, raffles them off, like, the st stolen goods, or she puts it in homeless boxes and stuff. I saw in the comments when that video was playing, someone said in the homeless boxes, she's putting scissors in them yeah. and a painkillers. And that's just... <laughs> yeah, just Why and, would you do and that? the mental if health do, boxes. Like a lot of people have obviously got mental health issues and addiction problems. And well, there's a reason herself, that... like last month, she was running around Leicester on live last month, um, trigger warning, saying that she was basically going to herself oh my and god i saw that she was in the middle of the abusing, night she, yeah. on the bench. she was abusing the police officers she was like trying to attack them she was drinking as well um she was doing the most but yeah she's done homeless boxes and then mental health boxes she um goes out in in leicester and then offers like young girls out for scraps no. and then does a runner <laughs> oh <laughs> um, my god and then she does these ra um, raffle things, like they were saying, um, she says she's got no money or nothing, and then she'll do them, and then she'll go off to bingo. And then she got caught at bingo, snogging this man's face off who has a girlfriend, and someone took a picture and put it on Facebook. Who is kissing this little... I don't know if anyone's seen her. Like, she's got no teeth. She is... Oh. Yeah, it's bad. She has dentures. She's just, you know, I don't. I'm not trying to body shame, but she looks like everyone was asking the other day if she was pregnant because of the shape of her. 
<laughs> she used to be really skinny and now she she's is, yeah. not. She was at Vicky Pollard. I he was. I you see that recording of that Iceland call? Mm. That <laughs> What the fuck? You I'm know sorry, are you joking me? Huh? You know all the other stuff about this woman? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. I'm, I'm not I'm not just focusing on the Icelands, it's just... No, it's I just, just wondered if you'd um, been here at the start when we were saying it. She also you know, basically... I was in the comments, this in the background, but I just can't actually believe that. Basically, the other week she was giving out these boxes, apparently these group of lads that started mouthing off to her, and then she went and she ran into Tesco and this Tesco security guard apparently left Tesco, walked her to the bus stop and made sure she, she got on the bus and got home safely from the bus, walked her to the bus stop. And she can't deliver these things on her own anymore. She says she's not doing it anymore, apparently. But a Tesco person wouldn't just leave their... If he's a security guard, he wouldn't leave his position, do you know what I mean? She starts drama on the bus all the time. Like, I've seen multiple, multiple people post pictures of her in, like, Islam and, and Leicester and um, areas, and she's on the bus <laughs> giving verbal to people. Let me give a big shout out, though, to, to the customer service person because oh, yeah. why am I had the patience of a saint. Yeah. Yeah, I, could I would have put that phone down for a long time, let me tell you. Does she, um, mate, she fucking racially abused him on the phone. Like, I'd be like, literally shoving yourself off the wall. I think it was the daughter, because what she said the is... Sister. Like, can you the not, sister, her oh, sister. sister. Oh, sorry, sorry, sister. Because mm -hmm. he, he was basically saying that she, like, he can't understand her in it. And then he was like, because that's because he's a... Yeah. Like, no. So there was nothing wrong. Do you know what's so messed up about that sentence? Yeah, there was nothing wrong with his communication. Oh, she no. was the fucking so problem. So calm and, mm -hmm. and yeah. collective, reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's eating all this bad food, but she has Crohn's disease. Like she eats bad food on the daily, and she has Crohn's disease. That's not a good mix. I've got a video here. I've just seen of her. Do you have the fat free one? To. No, I can get it if you look directly I'll to send it. I'll you the link to you. Hang on. All right, cool. But well, I've got a video here of when she's mocking what she made the kids do for punishment. Do you not want to watch it? What you go on it? Hold on, let me put my screen. Oh, shit. Um. Is this them standing against the wall? Yeah, not them, not the actual, I wouldn't show it. Not her, it's her taking the piss out of them, basically standing against the wall. See, before you play it, though, like, we've got to get to uh, 75k likes. Sony right. Come on, people, let's go. Let's oh. tap the screen. Did anyone see that she was saying the other day that she had the cheek to be there, like, I'm actually a really nice person, but, like, I, I, may have to, I may have a front when I get mouthy and gobby, but I'm actually a really nice down-to-earth person. <laughs> She literally admitted, um, I think I sent the screen recording to NJ, but she literally said, my neighbours accepted toys off me for their kids and when they found out I, I was a PDF file, they dumped them back on my doorstep, but it was okay for you to accept them off me last month when I was a PDF file. Oh, okay. Um, did you say 70 likes? 75. Well, 80 actually, sorry, 80. Come on, people, let's all go, man. There's 555 people. Let's get to eight. Like the target for the night, if we got to 100k, that would be sick. We ain't got to 100k yet. Okay. Well, let's get to 80 and then T will play the video. Are we on the same level that, like, you know, different types of punishments for your kids okay, though? Like your kids standing against the wall when they've been naughty. What's your opinions on that? That's like some prisoner of war type of vibe. It's so old school. I mean, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But isn't it the same as the naughty step? I think the naughty step's okay if you, you explain to them actually why they're there and then if they understand, they can come off straight away, do you know what I mean? You know what it... Sorry, go on, Andrew. Yeah, carry on. I think any sort of time out, yeah, because me personally as a mum, mm. like me personally as a mum, like my kids will have time out and time out, they don't have to face the wall, but it consists mm -hmm. of taking a break, sitting down, thinking of your actions of what you've done, understand um why you sat there or whatever mm -hmm. and then after i'll explain to them why they've had the time out and they are not you don't have to be facing the wall and moving like we're a military that's just my parents uh, that's true, but, yeah. but everyone's different 
you get, and now they're getting older. They're in, I don't really do the time out thing for them. I'll just take away their electronics. Yeah, my two older ones, I just take their stuff away. Yeah. But my daughter bullies me heavily, and uh, <laughs> I need but, help. <laughs> but yeah, like when they were a bit younger, we definitely had a time out and time out. Not necessarily you have to sit on a step or whatever, but you're gonna have mm. a little break and you're gonna sit down. Mm. The time right, is I just I think as well, know. if you're disciplining your child, you don't come and take the piss out of that. That's something like, yeah, no, 100%. you know what I'm saying? You don't mock it, but, yeah, especially yeah. to all those people that are watching. Oh, watching, yeah, all right, cool, let's go. Is that who we think it is? Huh? I was going to say, is that who we think it is? Guys, I don't have big box on my live for some reason. I don't yeah, know. We have her in it. Box. Is this the one where she's laughing because of, and she was taking the piss out of when she got him to stand on the wall? Yeah. Is this a, is it a worth it video? Yeah, I think, yeah, but, yes. I don't know why there's a song in the background, but you will let me spend my whole life loving you like good in your dreams, sweetheart. Oh, I've done it. We're gonna get people because. All right, let me play the fat freak one because she just loves What does the caption say? That size like is better though, NJ. Like you can see a bit more. Mocking. Oh, shit. Mocking how she made her kids face the wall. Oh, fat freak. What's up, Martina? Thank you for the followers, my people. Big up everybody inside. This is surviving oh. Tara. <laughs> The following video contains content that some viewers may find sensitive or distressing. I strongly advise viewer discretion. This video discusses topics that might invoke an emotional I get response for this? or raise uncomfortable questions. It is important to approach this content okay. with respect and an open mind. Please be aware the intention of this video is to raise awareness and promote understanding. It is in no way meant to alarm, harass or cause undue distress to anybody. We have carefully created this content to strike a balance between shedding light on important issues and maintaining a safe and respectful viewing experience and hopefully some laughs along the way. Make sure you don't show the logo. The content in this video may be triggering for you. I suggest considering your emotional well-being before proceeding. Remember, it is acceptable to step away or seek support if needed. Self-care and prioritizing your oh, mental God. health is in your mental health. are going to look at some of the videos and screen recordings that people have shared of her on TikTok. Now, I'm going to be blind reacting to these. I have not seen them. So let's jump into it. I will make you stand at that wall again. Yeah. No one, JJ, take yourself to the wall. I assume that's her putting her child on a timeout because it's interfering with her TikTok time. <laughs> oh, if you're gonna cry, go cry downstairs. Don't interfere with the precious TikTok time. Don't want to hear it, Clara guy. I don't understand how somebody can be live with them and be all right with this. Yeah, if you want to know any more info, it's in my intro, guys. Probably be easy. Come off live stream and help your child deal with the situation. So this says, Chantel, don't be so oblivious. She removed you because she's ungrateful and has no care for the people who support her. She just wants the money that she can go out with. I mean, that's the case, unfortunately, with a lot of TikTokers. You are just a paycheck 
Not a friend. Tell Lunt said, can you ask Tara why she removed me? I've always supported her and sent her gifts. I enjoy her lives. Well, there we go. My job's taking your money. How you leave? Oh my god. What is she doing what with the that fuck? carrot? Calm down, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> and when they do turn up, they'll see that I do everything for her. Do you know what I mean? Like, the amount of things that I've done for her, for, like, do you know what I mean? Can you think of any? Even to it. Oh, I assume this is an animal. I hope they do say. I'm not talking about her, maybe she is, but yeah. Send out the RSP because they might fall wrong with her fur. So if anything, they're doing me a favour, aren't they? So. If you know that there's a concern with the animal, i.e. its fur, you should be chasing it up with every professional that you can. Not hoping the RSPCA will turn up. But you can stand there till your dinner gets here. I don't think I'm joking either, move. But well, I, obviously, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and like do some, you know, like normal. Shut up! Don't even want to hear your voice. Go on, cry all day because I will come over there and give you something to cry about. Mm -mm. Oh wow! So threatening a child, beast. And I really hope someone's recording me. This is horrendous, and this clip is one of the reasons why she lost her kids it just said this is the reason that she lost them but like i said there are many reasons um just so inappropriate and horrendous what predatory behavior okay. The nineties called the want the look back. Oh shame, I'm so dumb. Sorry guys, this ads. But while you're here, I would like to put in a, in a, in a complaint. Um, oh, come on then. Who, who's done this? Like, it's harassment, it's been going on for like, nearly two years. And they're like, they've got, they've got accounts up with me, they've got this account up. It's called Junkies and... I've said this so many times. When it comes to these wrongings on social media who complain that they are being harassed, I mean, if you weren't a beast and you I hadn't done I beastly think. things, nobody would be pulling you up on it. And you could be on social media. Now, if you don't like the fact you get pulled up on your behavior, leave social media. It's that simple. Oh, here we go. RSPCA visit Tara and recommended she registers Princess at the vets to check out her skin condition that Tara hasn't dealt with. So the clip we watched before talked about skin condition. That was a while ago. <laughs> okay, I love fast forward and TikToks. But she is registered at the... Pets at home. Pets at home is a shop, not a vet. Pets at home. It's like a thing at the bottom, like a shop at the bottom. It's like a groomers and a pets at top. Okay, yeah, I think she was going to say that just to kind of check that it's for the same condition. Yeah, she's trying to see that. Yeah, she's trying to see that. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure she's going to put on one of these. Yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. More than obviously, okay. So can you... I mean, the fast forwarding is blagging my head. My head can't handle that. But that just sounds like a lot of waffle. A lot of waffle. Why you wouldn't have your animal registered in the vets is beyond me. Here we go. This will be the begging and the math probably won't be mathing. Wanted to raise £70 for someone else's bill. Wow. <laughs> try and raise 70 pounds so if anyone can help out i greatly appreciate it um 
as I said, I'm, I can't go into great detail other than the fact that she is, she's a mum of two. Uh, can't go into great detail because you wouldn't want, you know what I mean, that, that just screams scam. <laughs> Um, she's struggling at the moment. She's tried every other avenue. Um, I have helped her out. Um, before anyone comes at me, um, I have actually helped her. I didn't want to go into it and say on here because obviously I don't like getting credit. Do you know what I mean? So, for anyone. So, why are you doing it? There's the people who contradict themselves. I, w I didn't want to do it. I would never want to do it on here, but I'm doing it. It's like, what? And that can generally help out. All gifts will go towards this lovely lady. Um, she's helped me no end of times and. Sick. So she wants to raise seventy pound through TikTok gifts. For those of you who don't know, when somebody sends a gift on TikTok, TikTok takes seventy percent of the value of that gift, and then the rest goes to the creator. So it's just a lot of rubbish. Oh, we love a good triggered clip. <laughs> I, I heard a lot of whelping from that dog there as soon as she left the camera and went towards it. TikTok truly is a weird cesspit. Like, literally, people will live stream anything. From what I can see here, she's reporting missing items on a delivery or something. <laughs> but of course, they have to do it on the phone. Like, come on. Well, oh, I'd also like to be... Oh, Wait, this is another like video. ...for the steaks, oh, no, the galaxy no, no, no. profiteroles, the ice cream, and the fries to go, because that was what was missing. No, guys. Does this with every order? Guys, this is another video. The other video, she was in her kitchen. <laughs> oh, but is this in the initial phone call she made? No, but she didn't mention the fries at the end. Everything was right apart from the fries. Uh, called junkies and bags and i will link them below they also have a youtube channel and one video that stood out to me massively was actually the fact that rebecca goodwin has actually weighed in and spoken about her let's watch that video i don't have the babies there is so much more that I i've got to say my piece on this one so this woman is talking about how she was in the same industry as me and she was nearly as well known as me. Nearly as well known as Rebecca Goodwin. I've been talking about stretching. And she was just as good as me. Who's Rebecca Goodwin? What? But recently she's had her children taken off of her. So she's saying, I did that with children. Can you imagine what I would do without children? What a weird way to advertise spicy content. Please explain to me what drive and motivation oh, you have to even oh get God. out of bed in the morning um, when you oh. don't have your children by your side anymore. I that would not be able to continue this job if my children were taken off me. There would be no need for me to ever do this job if I had my children taken off me. 100 percent that's what your focus would be getting your kids back i beg that you do not compare yourself to me okay because i would not be able to do more without my kids i would be able to do nothing wow so even rebecca goodwin has had something to say and links for this youtube will be low as well lots of clips worth checking out right guys that's the end of today's short awareness video now don't forget if you're part of a community raising awareness of oh, yeah guys that was that so that is like stuff that's happened like previously but obviously a lot of stuff has happened since then that's just a few of the clips from like when people first saw her i think when she was first fucking about and that was um, a clip from Fat Freak, Fact Freak, yeah? yeah. And obviously, yeah. You, you go into his YouTube and you can check it all out. Now, people are asking what the poll was about. The poll was, if you are enjoying the live, then give me a smiling face. If you think this is dead, <laughs> give me a crying face. Let's go, rip the poll. Are you going to let people in the boxes? Yeah, but I've just got a feeling that a lot of them are just like, they're not no, even... No, I know people. Serena. And I know AC, I don't know Tyson. Okay, let the two ladies in there. I don't know if they've... Obviously, sometimes people oh. accidentally... Think. A, yeah, a pocket thing. 
Ini mau fake out lah, siapa mana lah Oh my god, sorry, that was nice um, Oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> I just thought you carry on So I said it was an accident Serena, are you here? Yeah, so it's an accident. Do you know what they do? They put the guest thing next to the same button where you say accept. And then if you're doing something else, you just accidentally tap, tap twice. I do it all the time. Sorry. Ollie. Yeah, oh. it's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> okay, no worries. It's the same for this person as well. So the £70 that I mentioned that she asked about the green, that was separate to the £70 she was raising for the mum, apparently. So she 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 asked quite a lot for money to go to her PayPal. Wait, because in some videos she's got missing teeth, but in some videos she's got teeth. Yeah, she's got, oh, dentures. She's got dentures. Oh. Well, her mouth is Is that why her and Jemzina are, like, linked up then? Yeah, I think so. Well, apparently they knew each other because they say. And Gemma would have known about all this stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> I did think that underneath it all, Gemma had some sort of morals. That's what I'm saying. Dentures at 32, that is wild. Gemma has no morals. I just thought there was maybe a little glimmer of morality there, but no, when she went to... Well, the name's there, Tara. Elizabeth, it's Tara Atfield. I don't know what her current at is. If anyone knows what, what account yeah, she's currently using. It's official Tara Atford, but official spelled wrong. There's an I missing. Huh. Speak your truth, Georgia. I think Georgia was like, triggered by the last bit about the, about the spicy stuff, because that is fucking wrong. Right. Gray, you back in it? You back if in I... here? Any, Gray, any chance we could uh, get a performance, bro, for the ad break? If I really speak my mind right now, it will be everywhere. Absolute massive big up to social services. And I hope that these children are in a very safe environment and have a good upbringing, whether they stay in the system or, or not. Um, mm. And I think the right thing was 100% done. And so much of that was disturbing and to be to be exposed on the internet for t t taking doing your content in front of your children and then to promote your spicy once they're taken out of your care and say done this in front of my children imagine what i'll do without them oh. i hope she never ever gets her kids back so her children i'm pretty sure with she has like five or four baby daddies so they're mostly with the dads and then one of the other kids is with one of the other baby daddies, so they're away from her. And she's supposed to have, like, I think she's supposed to have a contact centre visit, but she doesn't really show up. State of it, mate. Do you know what, so if, it's all well and good us doing like this live and stuff, but when it comes to stuff like this, don't you just think it is so like, you, you're almost speechless because you feel like you can't even comment it because it's so fucked, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't even know what to say. And those kids are going to have that trauma for the rest of their lives. Facts. It's just a sad thing. You really don't get to pick who your parents are. And it's just, you know, it, we all know how much that like, childhood trauma sticks with you as you grow up. Yeah, sometimes it's so bad you don't even know what it was. Yeah. And then to be in these environments as such a, a young kid, which is when your brain is like learning the most, everything sticks with you, man. It sticks with you so fucking much. The majority of us in this world are still healing from things that we've gone through, you know, and we're still we're still learning, you know. And oh God, that's made me so mad. I can't lie. I'm really angry, guys. It's really sad. I'm like the kids are just right literally now. being kids, laughing and playing, and they're getting whacked up for it. Ah. Oh.